Guys, if you're new around, you click that subscribe button and turn on channel notifications. It helps me out massively and you'll never miss a video. What is going on guys, Shrubby13 here, welcome back to a brand new video, if you do enjoy it make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on channel notifications so you never miss a video. Now today we have got 4 player of the month nominees that me and my friend last night, late last night, uncovered a bit of information about and we think these guys have stood out so far for the month of November. Now if there's anyone that you think deserves a shot, make sure you leave it in the comment section down below. Obviously this is just the Premier League player of the month, not the Bundesliga. Internationals over the last couple of weeks do not count towards this. So the order I'm gonna give you these nominees are as follows. The person that I think's got a uh, like a shout or is gonna be a nominee is the first one you're gonna see. And as we go through, they're gonna go from bronze, silver to gold. Now gold is the one that I think out of these four would get it. Silver, second, chance bronze third chance and obviously the first one that you're going to see now which is the fourth chance is someone that's just got a good shout of being in the nominations now the first guy is rondon the newcastle striker now he's an absolute beast he scored two goals he's got one star man if you want to know what star man is it's pretty much a man of the match sort of thing but i use sofa score if you don't know what that is it's just a football app that gives you all this information um, so you can look up players teams you can see who's like the standings of groups you can see like their form and stuff it's a very very good app it's not sponsored by the way i just use it a hell of a lot um so yeah rondon two goals one star man i mean if he got this kind of upgrade he go from an 81 i think his inform is to an 84 78 pace 86 shooting 66 passing 78 dribbling 39 defending and 87 physical he's a big big man and hopefully he would get a chance at a player of the month. Do I think he's going to win it? No, that's why he is the first one you guys are seeing. Because I just don't think he is that kind of guy to get a player of the month. I just think he's not desirable enough to get one. He's already got an inform. Probably good enough for the people that like Premier League squads. Next up is Felipe Anderson. He's managed to get himself two informs, I believe, so far this year on FIFA. And the player of the month would just top that and would just emphasize the fact that he's having a brilliant season for West Ham. Now, I'll give an 88 rated card. These cards and stats are probably not very accurate at all. I just kind of thought, what would they be given? What kind of upgrades would they be given based on previous player of the months and stuff from last year and this year? And I've gone with an 88 with a 96 pace, 88 shooting, 87 passing, 90 72 dribbling, 72 physical, 63 defending. Now this is based on the fact that he's already got two informs this year and potentially could get some more special cards. Um, so yeah, this is what I've kind of come to. He's got three goals, one star man, which is a very, very good performance yet again from the man Felipe Anderson. So yeah, he's in with a great shout. So the two guys that we've got for the last two, as you can see, the first one is Aguero. They both got pretty equal chances of winning, but I think the other one, just edges it but Aguero has got two goals two assists but didn't get any star man um, contributions but you know two goals two assists for a uh, player in the month Aguero is probably good enough considering there's been a couple of weeks of internationals and stuff I think there might be one weekend left of um, games for the BPL before player of the month not too sure but this guy's got a good shout. 89 pace, 94 shooting, 81 passing, 92 dribbling, 78 physical, 33 defending, a 92 rated card. Would cost a hell of a lot because he's so good in the game already. He hasn't got any special cards thus far apart from his Champions League one and that is based on the upgrade they've given him for that. So I've upped it from that obviously to a 92. Um, so yeah, he is in with a good shout and he comes in at number two. Now my winner of player of the month so far has to be Raheem Sterling. He's had some outstanding games for Man City. He's been shafted of informs twice so far on FIFA. Would definitely be a fan favourite vote on the player of the month if he were to be a nominee. He got two goals, two assists, same as Aguero, but he also got that star man. That's why I think he just edges it. Also, I think this guy would get it over Aguero just for the fact that he has been shafted a few times. And I know the FIFA community have been in uproar about that when that has happened. Now, given an 87 card, you're thinking Felipe Hansen, 88, Sterling, 87. Sterling hasn't had any other cards except his Champions League Live card. Now, I don't think he's going to get that much of an upgrade just because they know that he's probably going to get more informs. And two, it's going to make their money anyway people are going to buy packs they're going to spend coins on this they probably don't need to put him at such high rating and he's better than player of the month lucas and he also is a man city player who's english from the prem so he'll be good for sbcs in the future 
It'll be very expensive to do if he does get it. Obviously an 87 right wing card. They could position change any of these players, but I think they would give them their normal position. Um, right wing, Sterling I think mainly plays there. You also would get 97 pace, 80 shooting, 82 passing, 90 dribbling, 50 defending, 62 physical. Very, very good card in game already. This would just be an absolute beast card to have. I'd definitely do him. He would be expensive, but you know, playing the mums. Oh, I've done a Bamiyang, I've done Lucas. I didn't do Hazard, didn't feel like I needed him. Mane, that's enough for me. You're probably thinking, what? Mane over Hazard? But. I'll be looking to get icons there in the future. So hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. Let me know who you think deserves it out of these four players. Let me know if I've missed anyone. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comment section down below. Remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.